Hey Morningstar, I received a call earlier this week from someone who asked a great question. It was actually based on a conversation he and his wife were having about their commitment to our Turn the Page initiative. But the question actually has implications far beyond making just simply a financial pledge to the church. Their question was essentially this. As we lean into this challenge and take our next step on the giving path, how optimistic should we be in regard to, to giving based on a percentage of income we haven't yet made? How much should we go out in faith when we write that number down? Uh, specifically for this couple, one of them you see is in sales, and that salary is partially based on commission. So, uh, you know, what they're actually going to make, and that's kind of the way for all of us, right? But what they're going to make in the next two years is still kind of, you know, up in the air. So the first way to answer that question would be to say, hey, project your, your next 24 months of income based on your re recent history, how it's trending, up, down, flat. Another would be to say, hey, project a number that's kind of kind of halfway between what you absolutely know you're going to earn. You could do this with your eyes closed. And, and, and then on the other side, what you would earn if God just kind of showed up and blessed and opened this huge window of opportunity while still being kind of prudent and not figuring on something totally, totally unrealistic. Because that's not what faith is, right? I mean, faith isn't about making a pledge or commitment, which then puts God on the hook to bring all kinds of income producing opportunities to your door. See, that's not what God's word says or means by, by putting God to the test in this area of our life. Rather, faith is about responding in faith and trust in obedience to what you feel God is leading and directing you to do. Instead of making some arbitrary pledge which puts God on the hook to produce, the conversation begins with listening to God, listening to where he's guiding you, where he's prompting you to give, and how he's leading you to grow, and the next step that he's challenging you to, to trust him for. And hey, that's a truth that comes to bear in, area, in every area of our lives. Faith isn't some willy-nilly risk, like, like going and jumping off a tower, trusting that God's going to send his angels to save and rescue you. Faith is about listening and responding in trust and obedience to where God is directing. Now, for some of you, God will lead you to make decisions financially, in your career, your family, whatever. Those decisions may seem foolish, but listen, if that's where God is leading you, if that's his plan, the most foolish thing you can do is not be obedient because you're going to miss out on something incredible that God is planning to do, some breakthrough that he's planning to release in your life. Hey, consider Moses, right? After Moses went kind of AWOL from Pharaoh's court. He was out in the countryside tending sheep. God spoke to Moses through a burning bush, tells Moses to go back to Egypt and demand that Pharaoh let God's people go, which was asinine, absolutely crazy. Would have been the most foolhardy thing Moses ever did if God hadn't been the one calling the shots. But because God directed, and listen, Moses pushed back, right? He, he's like, are you sure, God? I, ca I can't even really speak that well. I'm not sure that I'm the guy. But because Moses pushed back and then obeyed, what happened as a result was this thing called the Exodus from Egypt, the most miraculous salvation experience in the Bible, second only to the New Testament where Jesus gives his life on the cross for all of us. So let me, let me kind of boil this down. In terms of our turn the page commitments. Here's a key. Uh, writing down that commitment for the next 24 months isn't about writing down a number that, that you can easily do. It's just kind of like giving God the leftovers. It's not about writing down a number, on the other hand, that's totally unrealistic. That would be setting our church up for failure to kind of base you know, your pledge on something that you, there's no way you're, you're ever going to be able to give. See, that's why it's critical. The key is about spending time with God first asking him to show you his plan, to give you a number or a percentage of that next step that you need to take on the giving pathway, and then to increase your faith and respond with obedience. Friends, that number, hey, that number may surprise you. It may be bigger than you ever expected, or it could be smaller than you'd actually hoped for. But if God's doing the leading, he has it all planned out, and he knows the part that you need to own, the part that he's prepared just for for you. Hey, it's all about listening. So we have a few more weeks, but don't wait. Be spending time with God right now, listening for him to direct 
you're, you're giving, this next step. But, but to listen to also God direct those, those big decisions that are in your life. Are you, are you just jumping in? Or are you, you kind of holding back? Are you, you fearful or, or also making just decisions that aren't prudent? Whatever it is, these big decisions in life, take some time, draw back, listen for God, listen for those nudges, listen for those promptings. It's why developing a quiet time with God is so important to we train our spirit to hear the voice of his spirit so that when he prompts, when he nudges, we'll recognize his voice and then be able to respond in faith because those who've learned to put their trust and in, in obedience in, into God's hands to really take a step out where he is directing, he has shown himself strong over and over and over again so that when God begins to guide us, we can step out with faith knowing that he's going to continue to provide. Hey, Morningstar, be the church this week, and I can't wait to see you in worship this weekend. God bless you.